Well, here I am again. Another talk about things. Out in the heat, dying, sweating, it's horrible. Forgot my belt too. Ain't that nice. Oh, but I look about as professional as I'm going to look today. So, what are we going to discuss today? Well, first off, I'm going to move this open because it is, like I said, blistering outside. And in the Judean desert, it's just so much fun to be dying in the heat. So, why do policemen always wear it, bring clubs with them? You know, those night clubs? Oh, not this. But they bring police clubs. You know why? Because they can beat the crap out of people and not actually have to kill them. Yay! And what's better than one nightstick? Why, it would be two. Well, ours are a little shorter. Ours are 26 inches long. Manufactured specifically for us with this little thumb rest. These are called Tanbo. Tanbo. Oh, fancy name. It actually means something in Japanese with bow on the end of it, meaning it must be a shorter version of the regular bow, the Joe. Oh, yeah, it's half the size of a regular Joe. What do you know? It's bigger than Cheesy Coon Bow, but still it's the same thing, too. So, what's so good about this? Well, first off, you don't need to buy big expensive things. You can find yourself something and a stick of some kind and you've got one. Find another, you got two. So, Tonbos are very good. Now, I know you see people doing floofy floof stuff, stuff like that. That's worthless. What you want to be able to do with a Tonbo is be able to hit somebody. That's right. Really hit them good so that it hurts right but you got two. Oh, does that make it better let's say somebody has perhaps a knife wow he's coming at me with his knife well as he comes at me because i'm not stupid i'm going to move out of the way slightly smack the knife in and him oh my god i did them both at the same time ain't that wonderful he comes in stabbing bam bam oh i'm here in this position is anything preventing me from again hitting him? Bam, bam. No, there's nothing. Pretty good. You can do it. Boom. With both at the same time blocking if you wish. Oh, yes. And of course, you can always walk and punch or poke. You can do all of this stuff with these. They're very good. They're inexpensive. Best thing about them is, guess what? You can carry them around. Are you gonna be walking around with a six foot stick in your hands all the time? No. You're gonna be walking around with a four foot Joe? Maybe. Possibly you'll have a cane, which is even better. But these are not looked upon in the same manner as a pair of those Japanese and Chinese and Korean sickles. Or the other ones, the half of the communist supply system. No, they're not a knife. They're not a sickle. They're not other things like a scythe. They're not metal. They're made out of wood. They're something very common. Something you can use constantly and actually carry with you. You can put them in your car if you want. Yeah, it's nice to know that you can have a couple of sticks because up to this point the governments on the planet earth have not banned sticks they're probably going to be ready to but at this point in time oh you can still have sticks yay can't have knives maybe can't have sickles maybe oh can't have sai can't have all those other weapons of martial arts but you can always go out and get yourself a couple of sticks. Take a stroll through the park. You'll find things that you can make into sticks. Yay! And they work. So, with that in mind, I'm going to let you go. Bye-bye!